Hey everybody, what's up? DJ Luda here in the garage. Uh, I'm going to check out these new speakers I bought. Uh, they were a recommendation from uh, DJ Bright Eyes. So John, thank you very much for the recommendation. Uh, I got to say they are working out great. So I've already used them at two events. Uh, one was for, uh, actually they were both for a cocktail reception. They don't have a ton of bass, but uh, the bass sounds nice. Um, you know, it's definitely not a QSC or not like a EV ZLX 12, uh, but they do sound nice. I, I want to I'm very impressed and uh, for the price point, you can't beat it. Um, I paid um, $180 each uh, through Z Zounds and um, I was able to find a couple of Gator bags in there that, that I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to pull my table down and I'll show you and I'm going to set it all up. So here they are, it's the, uh, the pair of the Alto 308s. All right guys, so like I said, these bags are awesome because they have a little extra room. Now I'm gonna show you what I keep in one of these bags, all right? So these bags were only $35 a piece. <clears throat> of course we have our Alto TS 308, which by the way, it weighs 20 pounds, super light, love it. Okay. Inside here, I keep a extension cord, 15 feet, plenty. Uh, it's got uh, two plugs on this side, one on this side. I keep a 25 foot XLR. On the side pocket, I keep the original power cord that it came with. Uh, so far, I haven't used it because I actually have these cool little pigtails here. Some of you I'm sure are familiar with these. Um, you plug it into the back and then it allows you to plug in another accessory. In this case, I actually use the uh, Alto uh, wireless system to transmit across the room. So I don't have to uh, have another plug right there. At the bottom of these bags, it has a little bit of padding, but I went ahead and added just this little extra bit of foam that I had laying around. Um, it's really nice to have in there because if you have the speaker down, uh, it protects that grill a little better. And then the next thing I keep in here is uh, one of these Odyssey tripod covers. I'm sure you guys have seen this, but uh, I keep that in there because uh, when I set it up in a uh, large reception room or whatever, I like my uh, tripods to, to look nice, covered up, and then it helps hide the cords. So what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm actually going to set up both of these. I haven't really had a chance to crank them, uh, like hooking them up to uh, my controller. So on my SX2, I like to keep all my cables over here. I like to make it real simple so when I go to a gig anywhere, I can set up real quick. You never know. They change the time up on you. You got to set up uh, earlier or whatever it may be. Um, I like to always have this be real Real simple for me. Now in the back here of my controller, I have 90 degree plugs. Uh, it makes it nice because uh, the previous plugs I had would stick out this far and the cable would kind of uh, get bent right here. And I was always afraid that they might fray after a while, get damaged, and then I was gonna use them at a show. And then I would have a bad cable. So yeah, I was able to find these right here on Amazon. These are great. They work amazing. Uh, back here, I also have the uh, I leave the plug from the microphone that I use all the time, which is a uh, Line 6, I believe it's the XD30. I've been using that wireless mic for a very long time. It's a uh, 2.4 gigahertz digital mic and it works amazing. 
Then also I keep a uh, the power plug from my MacBook Pro. I leave it right there. So like that, it's it's always there and one less thing I have to plug in. Also here's my uh, microphone um, XLR. I also leave it there and I leave it coiled right there on top. All right guys, so um, I guess this is gonna be kind of like my review on these TS-308s. I think they're great. I'm gonna include a video of how I use them the other day at a uh, cocktail reception and uh, they sounded great, they look great. Uh, they're very, I can kind of compare them to the, uh, the ZLX uh, 12s that I have. The cabinet is very similar. These are very similar, so it's kind of nice to, if you have these and you're using them in conjunction with your other EV stuff, or even the QSC, my K12s, the box and everything almost looks the same. So, but anyways, um, the music that I was playing the other day during that cocktail reception, was well, a jazzy mix, uh, so you know, nothing heavy. So these right here are my new Alto TS-308s with the Alto Stealth wireless transmitter. Got one here and one right over there. Just perfect for cocktail hour. All right guys, so right now I'm running the speakers right at 12 o'clock. <laughs> say I am impressed by these um, they actually have a decent amount of bass so I think I'll retract my previous statement about not having a whole lot of bass they do have quite a bit of bass and I had to turn my bass down quite a way here you can see um, I have it at about nine o'clock so I am pretty impressed by these I think you could really do a, a very uh, like a small room you know maybe a party of 50 to 75 people uh, depending on the size you know if it's a low ceiling or um you know i'm sure they have their place in in, in a lot of different scenarios or in a lot of different uh banquet rooms but i really see these as a good filler like um you know maybe running the uh, alto stealth uh wireless transmitter across the room and then having these as um as a nice fill for the rest of the room. But yeah, overall, I really recommend them. Thank you to, to John, uh, DJ Bright Eyes for the uh, uh, recommendation. I, I really appreciate that. And, and I also believe DJ Sean uh, had made a uh, review on these. And uh, thank you guys for uh, putting those out, out there. I don't usually do reviews and maybe I'll start doing reviews because honestly reviews is what we count on from each other. And trust me, I looked at all your videos to see uh, what you guys really thought of these. Um, I think I would like to definitely get that uh, that Fox, Fox Novo or battery that you guys are using. Um, I do a lot of weddings in the, in the mountains, in the countryside where there is really no plug or you have to use a generator, it's loud. And um, you know, a trip hazard with the long cord trying to keep that generator real far away. Uh, the other way I've done it too in the past was I ran a uh, power inverter off my truck um, and ran a system, but that, that again is, is it could be a, a hazard for a, a cord or anything like that. So uh, I'm definitely liking that battery uh, pack that you guys are using. So, but anyways, yeah, that's my 
my take and my review on these Altos, I think they are great. Uh, perfect for the money. Uh, these were 180 a piece, plus the Gator tote bags uh, were $35 a piece. So what is that? $360 plus some change for tax and $70 for the bags. You know, under 500 bucks for a really nice uh, set of speakers, the bags. You can't beat it, so I'm impressed. I have a bit of a speaker fetish myself. You know, I have these uh, now. I have uh, the uh, pair of the EVZLX12s. Um, I have a pair of the QSC K12s. And over here behind my facade, by the way, this is the uh, Rockville facade. It works really nice. Uh, it's lightweight. And uh, it looks really nice, makes your pulse system look really good, and hides all your cords. Um, I have the EV Evolve 50 system. Now, I've had this since it came out, and it's been one of the greatest systems I've had. It's bassy, it's clear, I get a lot of compliments on it. And for those of you that are using the system as well, um, you know what I'm talking about. I, I think it's the best line array system out there right now. Uh, some will say different, but that's cool. John, I think you have the 30, the Evolve 30, and that's pretty cool too. I did check one out at the Guitar Center, and I also checked out that new Harbinger line array system. Um, I was impressed with that as well. I did not expect what I heard from that, and you're right, you could use that for so many places like a ceremony or um, a cocktail hour. I really think that's a a solid little system and then also for the price point not bad well anyways uh, dj luda here i'm out of here thank you all very much for watching like and subscribe turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video that's right baby peace peace guys